Hello and welcome to First Impression Reviews. I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and we are in what is going to be my collection room slash studio at some point. I have finally moved away from my work, my work desk downstairs and I'm actually starting to record up here, which is really exciting. You can see some of my mess is already starting to come out. My new buddy Gremlin over here. And uh, so hopefully we'll be getting some more reviews done up here as my collection starts to come out again. But today we're doing a first impression review and today's subject is going to be uh, the Transformers Earthrise Leader Class Double Dealer and I am super excited. If you guys watch my G1 review of Double Dealer, you know how much I love this character, how much I love that figure and I've been really looking forward to this figure coming in so that I can do a review of it. Uh, released in July of 2020, as of the time of this recording, just a couple weeks ago. He is a leader class. He retails for approximately $50. I got mine from Amazon.com for $40, so I saved a couple of bucks by going that way. And uh, just to check out the box real quick, there he is, packaged in the window box in robot mode. And you can see a ton of accessories in there and some artwork there on the side. Very cool artwork, actually. And then you've, we've got the Earthrise artwork here on this side and then around the back. We've got our product shots showing us all the different modes for Double Dealer. So, again, another one that is going to take uh, it has a few modes. And again, I'm getting into this without uh, really um, knowing what I'm doing with it. So you guys are going to see my first experience with this figure here on camera right now. There's a lot to cover. So let's just get right to it and turn the camera around and get them opened up. Hey, here is my review table. You guys remember my review table? And of course, my backgrounds are all uh, got crease lines and whatnot on them because they've been folded for a couple of months. But again, let's just get right to it and let's get this guy opened up. So this is uh, kind of new for me again because well, not, not the review from this point of view, really. You guys have seen me do hundreds of these reviews, but a first impressions review, I've been doing them from the top down. This is kind of the first time I'm doing it point of view like my old reviews or my traditional reviews so this will be interesting let's get this guy out let's check out all the inserts that thing that's always there and we've got ourselves our insert here with our we do have a planet and let's see we've got i keep missing the the red um translator parts so or the decoder so i want to make sure i'm not missing it big uh sheet of instructions here wow look at this this is huge. Yeah, this is this is a poster. <laughs> that's what this is. Wow, that's huge. Um, no decoder. Where is the decoder for this figure? I keep, you know, I keep thinking figures come without a decoder, and then I get told that it's taped on the side of the box or on the insert or something, but you guys are seeing this. I'm looking everywhere. Ah, there it is, right there in the box. Okay. So let's get rid of the box. Let's set aside the instructions. Let's set this aside for the time being. Let me get this decoder out so we can see what planet we've got. All right, there is our decoder. And let's see what planet we got. Uh, let's see if we can show this off on camera. I don't know how well that's coming off, but it says Caminus. Yeah, C-A-M-I-N-U-S. Caminus. I hope that's the way you say that. But there it goes. I don't know if that's showing off on camera very well or not, but there it is. All right, enough of that. Let's set that aside and let's get to the figure. Lots of ties to cut here. Lots of accessories with this figure, which quite frankly, I've seen a couple of reviews on these. Some of these are cool, but I don't know how excited personally I am for a lot of these accessories that are probably gonna end up in the parts bin or just put away. I mean, it's cool that they included all of that, you do get a lot of bang for your buck with this figure. I got to tell you that. You get a lot of parts. But, uh, yeah, a lot of these accessories I'm not too crazy about. I'm probably just going to set them aside and put them away. Get that there. And let's cut some ties here. This guy looks gorgeous. Look at this. And a nice size figure. I love that they made this guy not only a leader class but also the proper triple changer that he is supposed to be um this is just looks like a love letter to the original g1 figure what am i still caught on i'm caught on something and i don't know what oh the biceps all right so the biceps have a little tie downs 
These are going to be tough to get to. Or not. <laughs> let's just pull them out. There we go. All right, let's get this cleaned up and get to the figure. Okay, and here we have the figure. Let's get him straightened out. It looks like his legs kind of turned on me while I was unpackaging him. And I got a little plastic tie um, straggler there. There is Double Dealer in robot mode, and he looks amazing. My goodness, what a beautiful figure. Of course, we got a bunch of accessories here. We got the missile, which we know is going to be right there on the shoulder. And, of course, this is going to be his uh, his gun. Uh, looks like the handle is going to be all the way in the back. I kind of had hoped that he would have a handle closer to the front so that he could kind of hold it like this, but not the case. It's going to be all the way there. It looks kind of goofy to be held all the way back here for such a long weapon, but, oh, well, what are you going to do? So let's get him straightened out there and looking nice let's show off his accessories and of course he comes with the weapons or rather the uh, the platform that he's going to need for uh, the missile launcher mode and also it serves as a tail for the bird mode and uh, just kind of hoping I know how all of this is going to work <laughs> when the time comes because again I'm doing this with no instructions so wish me luck here guys let's see Am I doing this right? Um, am I already messing it up, right? First impression reviews, guys. No preparation whatsoever. I have seen a couple of reviews online. That's about it. I have not messed with this figure prior to this video. You are seeing me experience this figure for the first time. So there's, there's a couple of the accessories. Some of the accessories I'm not really going to use here for this review. Uh, but you guys can see them. There's a uh, some sort of a sensor array or, yeah, I guess it's just a sensor's array. And, of course, it's a 5 millimeter port. The figure's loaded with them. You can put this just about anywhere. We'll set him aside. Two uh, rocket pods or, yeah, little rocket pods. And, again, you can probably set these up just about anywhere. I saw Patriot Prime put his on his um, uh, forearms, and it actually looked pretty cool. I may actually do that. And of course, you got this little gun here, which will probably look cool in vehicle mode as well when you, if you want to arm it up. Looks like a 50 cal. So there's that, and I'll set that aside as well. Here's something we haven't done in a while. Measurements. Let's check it out. This figure stands approximately seven and a half inches at the top of the head. Uh, yeah, uh, just a little under, but I'd say seven and a quarter top of the head. Seven and a half, seven and three quarters to the top of the missile. And he looks beautiful and amazing. Let's check him out next to his G1 counterpart. Look at that. It's it's like everything is there. Everything about this figure is right there. It's immediately recognizable. What a beautiful, beautiful, fantastic figure. And I love the update for it. He looks great. Let's set him aside. Let's also check him out next to Prime. So you can see what these guys look like together and of course he towers over prime because he's a leader where prime is a voyager so that's a good size comparison there and finally let's see if i can get these guys in shot with <laughs> skylinks which i absolutely love skylinks is gonna have to do a little dick here hi guys hi <laughs> so you can see what these guys look like together that is so cool i am still having so much fun with this figure so glad my wife found it and picked them up and brought them home for me. Okay, let's uh, check out some articulation here real quick. The head can turn side to side. It can go up and down just a little bit there. Arms can go in and out. It can go all the way around 360 at the shoulder, in and out again. Rotation at the bicep. Looks like a double bend at the elbow, and we can also rotate at the wrist. Very nice. Let's see, we have any, yeah, we got our waist rotation. And then the hips forward and backwards, in and out. Rotation, rotation at the hip, rotation at the knee, bend at the knee, and a little bit of ankle tilt. Very, very nice. And let's see if we can, that is, that seems to be popping off quite easily there. And of course, we've got the insignia here on the shoulders. Again, just like the G1 figure did when he was in robot mode, he was in Autobot. But of course, we know that Double Dealer is, well, just that, a Double Dealer. So we can actually take these. Uh, let's see, these are on hinges up here at the top. These little panels can actually be picked up and flipped. 
to reveal the Decepticon symbols. And of course, again, with the G1 figure, um, he was the Decepticon in bird mode. Now, according to the, um, the, box and the instructions and all of that that came with the G1 figure. He was a Decepticon uh, in his truest form. He was a Decepticon. He would pretend to be an Autobot, but he was actually a Decepticon. Uh, that was, I guess, the American version of him, the uh, Japanese version as uh, seen in Master Force. He did start out as a Decepticon or a Destron pretending to be an Autobot or a Cybertron, but eventually he did end up switching sides and uh, became a full-time Cybertron, so, uh, which was actually a very cool redemption uh, and kind of a turnaround story for this character. Very, very cool. But yeah, if you want to change his factions, you can do that by switching these guys back and forth there. And of course, if you have the cassettes or the little MicroMasters for him, you can actually pop him in here and turn this piece around and have it there showing the actual Power Master, as, if you will, like he did in the G1 version. And you got the little engine piece as well that can plug into the Power Master if you have them. I don't. I hope to find them at some point, but there you go. Let's try to get through a transformation, shall we? All right, so we're going to take the missile and the gun, and these should just slide in together to form the rocket. So that worked out. Let's set that aside. Oh, boy. Okay, this is a kind of... Uh, I guess we have to take this off. And this is kind of intimidating because I know there's quite a few steps to this figure. So let's see if we can get through it without having to stop and look at the instructions, I hope. All right, let's start with the legs. Uh, this is going to extend to some degree, right? Am I doing this right? Yeah, there you go. So the bottom of the foot is gonna stick out like that. Okay, that's good. Let's turn these, clip them together. There's some tabs right there inside the legs. Clip those together. And turn these around or do we need to turn them around i guess it looks like we need to turn these around before we clip them together so let's try that man these are tight on mine very very tight joints i like it a lot not a whole lot of parts falling off which if you've seen my uh my more my more recent reviews with uh the jets and even with skylinks i've always had parts coming off but uh, there you go that's not bad at all and i guess they're supposed to be okay so there are some how does that work? Okay, so these need to be pushed all the way up and that's gonna line up. There are tabs right there, or slots rather, right there, and there's some tabs in there that I'm trying to get to line up. So I think I just did. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Is it? That doesn't that looks good over here, but not over here, does it? There we go. That tabbed in good now. That's all good and straight and tabbed in. Let's, uh, I guess this is going to come up, turn, and then come down again. And this is going to tab in. There are two tabs here. There's two slots here on the hood. And those are just going to slot in right there. And that is that. Okay, arms. Put the fists in. And these are going to use these double joints here, I guess. Let's bring that all the way up. Bring the fist in. And these are going to unsnap from here and come up and over. Or, ah, I see. We need to turn these around. Okay. So there's a slot there and a tab there. That's where we're going to put that. Right there. And that's going to come up and over. Okay. Good stuff. Let's do the same thing over here. Slot that forearm into that tab there. That that's gonna go there. These are going to move up, and then the wings. We need to open the wings up so that we can extend these pieces, which will let us get all the wheels on the ground. And finally, this will come up and over, and we're gonna slot the missile right in there. And of course, uh, well, there it is. There's the truck mode right there. And of course, we can add all of these other 
accessories, but for the moment, let's just look at it right here in basic mode. And he looks absolutely amazing. He rolls really, really nice. Let's see, this is approximately seven inches long and about three inches tall. Very good size vehicle right here for comparison. Real quick, here he is with, again, his G1 counterpart. So you guys can see what they look like. And of course, again, what a great love letter to the G1 figure this modern version is. Absolutely love it. Um, I hope that we can get some stickers so we can get them the red rims, just like we have here. So Toy Hacks, if you're listening. And uh, I just love the parallels. Look at all the deco, or the deco, the, all the decorations on this new figure. Um, match up with the stickers and all the decorations that we had on the old figure. Absolutely love this. This is such, and it rolls really, really nice. Not a whole lot of roll about the show, just a little bit of the top of the head there. But I mean, if you didn't know what you were looking at, then of course you don't know. And I love that he's got good clearance. He's good and straight. Love that. Now let's see about arming him up. So let's see, how does, I'm not sure. I know that this is going to plug in here for the missile launcher mode, but how does that work for just truck mode? Because I can't imagine that this thing would just be dragging back here for truck mode, would it? These would be, oh, this has a hinge. Okay, that's cool. So that's gonna fold up. And of course that has the tabs there so it can plug into other Earthrise and Siege figures that have those same tabs, so other city bots and things like that. And then these can go up. So that's cool. You can put that like that for vehicle mode. And hey, that helps cover up the head. So very, very cool. Uh, let's do this. Let's get the camera down a little lower so we can get you guys closer and have a, look, a little better look here. Yeah, very nice. And of course, you can take all of these weapons and just kind of put them anywhere you wish. So we can have a gun up here. And let's do the sensor array here. This would make sense for vehicle mode to have all this stuff on here. And some missile launchers. I suppose we could do these in the front here or we can put them on the side. That would look cool too. So let's do that. And there it is. There's the vehicle mode all armed up. Here are all of the accessories that came with this figure. Mounted. Why can't I get this one in? There it is. All of the, fig all of the figure's accessories are there. And they look fantastic. This looks great. I absolutely love this. This makes sense. It's beautiful. I love this. Of course, being a, a vet myself and, and a truck driver in the in the army, uh, I love military trucks. So, all right, let's uh, let's do this. Let's open this up. Let's open that up like so. And this should just come right up, right? Just like that. We got ourselves a little sensor array there. A little gun emplacement there. Missile launchers. Let's point those up. And uh, there we are, guys. Check that out. Missile launch mode engaged. How cool is that? And of course, again, you can connect that with other figures and whatnot. So that is very, very cool. I love everything about this figure so far. All right, let's do this. Let's get these guys off. We're going to start working on our bird mode. So I'll take all of this stuff off. We'll take the missile off. We'll take this piece off. Okay, let's see if we can do bird mode. <laughs> I'm really intimidated by this. All right, let's see. Um, hmm, I really don't know where to go with this. Okay, this is probably go down. These are gonna come up and over, like so. Do these tab in anywhere? Yes, okay, so the little square there is gonna slot into this square here which is where it was in robot mode, I suppose. There it is, so there's that. That should take care of that. All right, let's um, get the wings opened up. They're on ratchets, those are nice, nice ratchets. And of course, we'll need to bring the camera up now. So let's do that. Okay, uh, let's see, we are going to open up this panel here. There's the head. This all has to rotate somehow. How? Okay, there's that. So that's all that. All right, so we need to move these out of the way just a little bit so that we can get this through there. That's going to let the bird mode head come out. And this is going to do what? What does this do? Does this just sit here like this? I imagine I'm not... Oh, okay, this is probably just going to angle down. Let's see. And clip in right there. That is cool. Look at that. Okay, so this little... 
piece here is going to slot into this little square piece here just like that that's going to get the bird mode all straightened out and we can close this right back up again open those wings back up we can close these again and we can bring down the bird feet okay that's that's pretty much it for the bird mode now we got to do of course he looks kind of basic like this we got to arm him up and uh, put some accessories on him so we're going to start right here with the little weapons platform uh, piece. I really like what this piece does because it actually looks like uh, tail feathers. So this is actually meant to enhance the bird look. And these, uh, this piece here is actually just going to uh, clip on right there. So that should just go right there. And then um, I don't know what to do with these. Put them down maybe. Put them up like wings. You can do whatever you want with these really. Uh, let's just uh, put them down like that. Like normal outriggers. But I do like that. It is meant to enhance the look of the bird by adding some tail feathers and actually hiding some of this hollowness uh, that's naturally made in the front of the truck right there. So I really do like that a lot. And of course, all of these weapons and accessories, you can add all of these anywhere you want. I'm not going to. Again, I'm just not a big fan of how those look. And then, of course, you've got the missile. You can do a couple of things with the missile. Uh, you can just <laughs> plug it in up here, I suppose, somewhere. Um, I don't know, maybe you can just split this. Um, now, I know, you know, if, if you're a fan of G1, of course, let's do this. If you're a fan of the G1 figure, you'll remember that this guy just famously plugged into the bottom here somewhere. There you go. So that can just be plugged in right there. Just like the G1 figure, I am not doing it right. I don't know what I'm missing. There should be, this clip should just clip right in here, I think. Right? Am I doing something wrong here? I need to go a little further forward, something, right? This looks like it should just clip in here somewhere. Or just pegs in right there, maybe? No, that can't be right. I feel like this should clip in here somewhere, right? Just not getting it right. There we go. That works, I guess. Tab that back in place. This came off. Let's tab this back in place. And there we go. There's the bird mode. Now, you guys remember, of course, famously, the uh, G1 figure would have that missile on the bottom there. Um, I Oh, look at this. That neck extends. That is cool. Wow. I just learned that. That is really, really neat. Okay, now you guys will remember for G1, the G1 figure actually held the missile underneath itself like that. Uh, again, for comparison, here he is with the G1 figure as well, with the missile under slung. Um, I was never a big fan of that myself, again, because I am more familiar with this character from the Master Force continuity. And in Master Force, the missile was carried up on the on the back of the bird, not on under slung like that. But the cool thing is, with both of these, you can do it either way you want. So we can take this, let's try moving it up to the top and see how this looks up here. Not quite sure where this is going to peg in up here though. I know that it pegs in, I just don't know how. Hmm. I want to do this without the instructions, guys, I really do. I want to figure it out without the instructions. It's kind of like my new thing <laughs> what I try to do. Are these... No. They're not spring-loaded. I was wondering if they were spring-loaded and I can just kind of force them. I guess I could. Look at that. Okay. Wow, that's kind of scary putting that in like that. So if this goes here, that just doesn't give enough room to clip that down there. So I must be doing something wrong. Very interesting. Maybe back here like that? No. That just clips on there. Hmm. Very, very interesting. I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so I am not actually too far off. What we're supposed to do is clip this here so that it goes all the way down. And rather than clipping this to the back of the bird, we're going to clip the missile to the back of the bird. So there we go. We can do that, and that puts the, the uh, tail feathers a little further back, and then we can just hide these down like that. So that's cool. That works. And, of course, there we have the bird with... The missile up on top and you can also of course separate this if you wish which is another thing we could do back in the g1 days 
and then take this part of the missile and tab it in or slot it in down there at the bottom. So you can do both. You can do the gun on top, you can do the uh, missile on the bottom. And that is very cool. For articulation on bird mode, we can move this back and forth. And of course the toes can move back and forth. The head, as you saw, can kind of do this little chicken bob thing. Uh, turns, you know, rotates and it goes up and down and the beak opens and closes. Wings can flap, they can rotate up here, and the tips can also bend, so you can do kind of that as well. This is really cool, guys. I love this figure. I knew I was going to love this figure because I'm just, again, such a big fan of Double Dealer. This figure does not disappoint. I absolutely love the way this looks. And just one more comparison with another Earthrise figure. Yeah, let's just move him out of the way. There he is with Prime, but again... <laughs> that just looks too cool not to have in the shot. Very, very awesome. So there he is, guys. One last look at Earthrise Leader Class Double Dealer. What an amazing figure. I am so happy that I got this figure. I've been waiting for him to come in. And I'm so happy that we finally have a modern interpretation of the G1 figure, which is one of my favorite G1 figures anyway. So just really love having a classic or a modern uh, interpretation of it. Fantastic figure. If you see this one, get it. It's a great figure. You will not be disappointed. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of this figure. Let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload new videos. I got the donate button up there if you wanna hit on that. I were, certainly would appreciate it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Share with your friends if you like what you see. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.